Hello, welcome to Worship at UCPC, Upper Clyde Parish Church. Wherever you're watching this, from within or without our parish bounds, and whenever you're watching this, I'm glad that you are able to join us for our time of worship today. Now, as ever, I hope that despite the current lockdown that you're managing, that you're coping, that you're safe and that you're well. I mean, it's very much a matter of getting through this one day at a time. I know we all have our different ways of coping and some of you have taken on new hobbies. Some of you have picked up old ones. Some of you are doing enormous jigsaw puzzles and some of you have found other creative ways to just pass your time getting through this. And then there are some of you who just the act of getting up out of bed when you'd rather stay hidden under the duvet is what you can do. That's fine too. However you're managing, however you're getting through this, be kind, do what you can and just keep on keeping on. Be gentle to yourself. Before we move more fully into our time of worship, just to note that for those of you with younger people in the house, don't forget to check on the blog. There's the link there that will take you to some downloadable, all age friendly worship resources and you can enjoy all of you, the younger and older members of the house, enjoy worship in that more accessible way. Download the resources at your leisure. And also on this Christian Aid Sunday, you'll find a link too to the Christian Aid donations page on the blog. I'm also going to try and put that link onto our YouTube channel so that you can click that there as well. So for those of you who are feeling that it's a little bit frustrating not being able to, being at home to easily lend a helping hand, this is one way that you can be of immense help to people's lives while keeping yourself safe. So to support the good work of Christian Aid, click on the link provided. That will take you directly to their donations page. And speaking of donations, I have a confession. Here's a challenge for you all. At one point when I was doing part of the recording for our service of worship, I made a bit of a mistake. So your challenge, your mission, should you choose to accept it, is if you find that particular mistake, get in touch with me. And for each one of you who gets in touch with me, I will donate a pound to Christian Aid. Uh, so you can contact me either on the phone number that you'll find on the blog or through our email. And my email is minister.upperclyde.com at gmail.com. So get in touch. The more of you who spot the mistake and get in touch, the more money we raise for Christian aid just on the back of me being a numpty. So there we go. As has become a regular pastoral note, if any of you know anybody who could use a listening ear, who'd like a chat, um, who'd appreciate a phone call, just let me know and I will see what I can do there. Again, pastoral work for us is a team effort in these times when we're all in lockdown. Uh, let me know. Last week, our worship reflected on Psalm 23 and of the theme of Jesus as the Good Shepherd. And this week marks the beginning of Christian Aid Week. And we'll be very much thinking of that very good work that Christian Aid does as an organisation. And particularly, we'll be thinking of that in our time of prayer later on. Also, in our time of worship today, we'll be hearing from the Gospel of John, chapter 14, where Jesus describes himself as the way, the truth, and the life. And our other passage is from the letter of Peter, 1 Peter, chapter 2, and it describes each one of us as living stones. We can't be physically present in the church building, but the reading reminds us that the church is us. We are the living stones that make up the church, which is Christ's body here on earth. So with that thought, let's now just stop for a moment. Let's put away whatever it is that might be distracting our hearts, our minds, our whole selves. And in this present moment, in quietness, let's turn our focus towards God, who is always with us and who is worthy of our praise and our worship. So let's be still. And then after that, we'll have our call to worship.
Jesus said, I am the way, come. Jesus said, I am the way and the truth, come and receive. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth and the life. Life, come, receive and respond. So as we gather together from our homes, let us worship God. Our first hymn of praise is, let us build a house where love can dwell and all can safely live. Known to some as all are welcome in this place. Now, it may seem strange to sing the lyric, all are welcome in this place, at a time when no one is really welcome in your houses except those who live there, um, or to doing collective worship in our church building. But this song, this hymn, is a good reminder at this time more than ever that we're learning that the church is not a building. It's not about the building. The church is us, the people. Peter calls us living stones in his epistle, and though separate, we can build up together into a spiritual house where love can dwell and be lived out in our everyday actions, in our everyday lives. So let us build a house where love can dwell, for all are welcome. Let us worship God. <laughs> 